Welcome along to this video walkthrough of our 2013 Atlas Ruby. It's a 37 by 12 three bed. It's got double glazing, central heating. It's also got front doors here. It's priced at 19,375. Going to show you a quick look around, or give you a quick look around, show you the layout and the condition. So let's get on. So you join me here in the living room area. As you can see, we've got a nice L-shaped fitted seating area. We've got the two-tone cushions, um, which with the matching sort of um, skirting around the bottom and the darker bottoms there. So it looks quite nice, I think got curtains all around proper curtain poles and everything like that nice coffee table in the middle the carpets i don't think the carpets are original but um possibly changed at some point like i say but they're looking pretty good at the moment got some nice front doors off there if you want to put a deck off the front of the caravan that would be quite ideal we've got a electric fire as you can see and we've got a coffee table in the middle we've got a tv unit area on the left and then a further storage area on the right. The coaxial cable or socket is on the left-hand side here, so probably the place to put your TV, and then over on the right-hand side, just some additional storage, and then you've got that shelving unit above as well. So some nice storage across the uh, across the caravan up the front here. Um, just quite a nice layout, lots of seating there, enough seating for a few people to sit around and chat or watch telly or whatever you want to do. Got a bit of a sort of dividing breakfast bar type thing. I know it's not a breakfast bar, but it sort of looks like a, a half one, uh, just in the fact that it's got that worktop, the same as the kitchen area, but it just separates off our living area slightly from the dining area. We've got a half moon dining table here with four chairs, also a bit of shelving there, which hides, and it also hides yeah, our, our radiator there that is just sitting in behind the dining table there. You could fit a different dining table if you wanted to, but that one's quite nicely shaped just for the area that is available. Our kitchen is sort of a two-tone kitchen, so we've got the wood grain looking drawers across the top there, and then we've got cream doors at the bottom and at the top. Um, the wood door drawers then match the wood of the rest of the carcasses of the cupboards, if you know what I mean. So just a nice two-tone kitchen, I think. Um, quite a classy look and uh, something that I am quite a fan of. Got a gas oven, hob and grill as usual. And then over here by the exterior door. So we've got the one side exterior door. Then we've got those front patio doors. We've got our fridge freezer. And then next to that, we've got cupboard with boiler for our central heating. Coming up the hallway... We will go all the way to the back of the caravan. I'll show you the main bedroom at the back. The carpets through the hallway and in the bedrooms I think are original, so they've had a little bit more wear on them, but I certainly wouldn't consider them to require changing at this moment in time. We've got a nice fabric headboard which matches the curtains, cupboard doors over the top of the bed, some bedside tables, and obviously a radiator there as it's gas centrally heated. Turning round, we show our wardrobes there, decent sized wardrobe for a three bed and a little vanity area there by the side. Coming out of the main bedroom, spinning to my left-hand side. So this is adjacent to the main bedroom at the rear of the caravan. We've got one of our twin rooms. That's got some storage over the beds. Bedside table, we've got a half wardrobe unit like you often do in a three bed or at least in a twin room where it can't all go down to the floor because that's where your feet are. So we've got a half wardrobe unit and radiator there. And then coming out of there, just to show you the layout of the, the bedrooms there, you've got the two at the back, and then my left-hand side is the other twin room. So this is the slightly larger twin room with the um, twin beds. Storage again over the top of the beds, but then we've got a larger wardrobe unit, as you can see, that goes from the floor to kind of towards the ceiling, as you can see there. So opposite these bedrooms, we've got a split bathroom here. So we've got, in this one, we've got a toilet and sink. And then coming up the caravan, Towards the front again, we've then got another toilet, sink, and shower. So, got two toilets in this one. One of them a full shower bathroom here with the toilet and sink and shower, which is a really good size, actually, if you look at this. That sliding door goes all the way, almost all the way to the back there, as you can see, so not 50-50, almost slides all the way open. You've got a decent size, um, decent lip. By decent, I mean fairly low. Not the lowest ever, but um, certainly a decent one and not much to lift your leg over if that's a concern. But once you're in there, then that's a really good size square shower there with, as I said, quite a large opening door. So that's quite handy. And then we've got the toilet and sink on my right hand side. So the two toilets and two sinks in here and then the one shower, good size shower in there. So that has been the inside of our Ruby. I'm going to jump outside now and I will show you the exterior. So a quick flick around the outside of the Ruby. We've got the standard creamy coloured aluminium panels we've then got some um, down pipes we've got the cream the sort of half size cream down pipes and we've got graphite coloured uh, what are they called gutters and then also the barge board ends are the gutter uh, oh, I can't think of my words barge board ends are graphite as well 
There's a couple of little dinks and donks around the outside, just small ones, nothing too much to worry about. Um, just a couple of small ones, age-related ones. It is, after all, a few years old. Coming around the back, I always point out any significant damage, of course, just sometimes there's a few little bumps and lumps here and there that um, I don't always mention. But it's fairly tidy along the back and along the offside. And we've got like a tiny little sort of crease there in the panel, if you can make that out in the video. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference to the caravan. Um, and then just got a couple more down the bottom here. Obviously the door side's a little bit more prominent with people coming along and getting in the doorway. Got an outside light there that's tarnished, which we can replace, that's not a problem. The chassis it is a galvanised chassis it was built with, um, but I think it's been coastal, so a lot of that kind of silver galvanised stuff is uh, rusted in places. Uh, but it's perfectly solid, nothing to worry about in terms of the strength and integrity of the steel there for the chassis, so not worried at all. But we obviously do a chassis check anyway, but like I say, it's not a problem there. And um, we've got some spotlights under the front eaves as well there, so if you do put a deck in off the front of the doors, quite nice to have those in an evening during the summer, which seems like a long way off right now with all the rain we've had, but never mind. So what have we had? We've had a 2013 Atlas Ruby. It's a 37 by 12 three bed. It's got double glazing and gas century heating. It's priced at 19,375. If you'd like to have a look, please do come along and see us. Pop along, have a look at what we've got to offer. Hopefully there's something here that helps or that you want, of course. If you need any help, please do get in contact with us. Send us an email, give us a call or pop along. Hopefully we'll hear or see from you soon.